This video is brought to you by DataCamp. We know that there are many different features that characterize ARMA as it's been developed. And yet among all of these different features, when talking about battlefield armor, stealth isn't one of them. But can you be stealthy as you're wearing battlefield armor if you need to? Hello Noble Ones, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking and the question today is particularly interesting because it covers all sorts of different fields. Understanding if you can be stealthy in armor or not is interesting as we study these objects within their historical period environment. So if you're passionate for armor, you're an historian, you're an archaeologist, this can help you understand these objects better. But it is also interesting when it comes to video game mechanics or even D&D as the player's handbook has a whole chapter that talks just about that. Which kinds of armor even allow you to be stealthy and which ones give you a disadvantage? Well on this channel we're all about practice so we're going to put on lots of different kinds of armor and we're going to test it. Late 15th century Italian full plate armor, late 15th century brigandine, 16th century samurai armor, 14th century and 15th century breastplates only, male armor also known in games as chainmail, so make sure to watch until the end because we're going to do a lot of different tests. But before doing all of that, I'd like to take a moment to mention the sponsor that made this video possible, DataCamp. If you are into data science and you wish to learn data skills at your own pace, DataCamp is the place for you. DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes it easy to build data skills. And in our day and age, learning data skills is an excellent and smart thing to do. The platform is full of interactive courses and hand-on exercises and no previous data skills needed to get started. Data fundamentals, data visualization, data science, coding courses in Python, R and SQL, you name it, they've got you covered. You will find all sorts of courses for all different skill levels. I love the fact that they have a career track that helps you focus on those skills you need for any specific career path you have in mind. That is a big fat yes for platform organization. Data Science for Everyone is a great course in my opinion because it literally breaks the fundamentals of what it is that you are learning and helps you understand what data science is and how it can work for you. Also, the learning process is made easy. You learn directly from your browser. DataCamp doesn't require any extra software. So literally log in and begin to learn. As a teacher, I can appreciate that very much. There are over 350 courses designed by top experts currently working in the industry to develop the skills you need today. I also love the fact that you can take a free assessment if you aren't sure what level you are in today, which gives you personalized learning recommendations for you to grow your data skills. Whether you already work in this field or whether you are starting to consider becoming a programmer or simply understanding how this whole fascinating world works, DataCamp is the perfect place to advance your professional career and build new skills, in-depth data, analytical skills and get their data science certification. Are you looking to become more competitive in your current job or are you considering opening up a new chapter of your life pursuing a career in data science? Then today is the day to do that. Invest in yourself, use my link in the description and check out the first chapter of any course for free. And big thanks to DataCamp for sponsoring my video. We're going to start by analyzing the sort of actions that you would need to be able to do if you tried to be stealthy while wearing all of these kinds of armor. Walking, running, jogging, jumping, crouching, opening doors, moving all your limbs around and fighting. After having estimated the amount of noise that all of these different kinds of armor produced as you're doing these actions, we're going to try and see solutions in order to make the armor more silent.
Okay, when it comes to running, plate is extremely loud. You can hear it a mile away. Samurai armor was also quite loud. Brigandine, you can barely hear it. Only occasionally when the plates articulate, that's when it makes a noise. Male, the rings make a recognizable noise that you can hear, but it's not very loud. And the breastplate made virtually no sound at all. And any sound you hear is most likely from our equipment. But then again, even with regular shoes, running will produce a noise. So when it comes to stealth, walking is where the situation will probably amaze you with the results we have found. We're going to have two kinds of walking, a regular walk when we don't care and a stealthy walk. Check this out and tell me if it's not a surprise. So what really amazed me when it comes to walking is that you can be stealthy even in plate armor. Although in the case of plate, I noticed that I should try and keep my arms elevated and already bent because if I bend them, then the full plate arms will make a noise. So if I want to try and stab someone or operate any sort of machinery or lever, I should bend my arms very, very slowly and then I can proceed. But in general, as you could see, with all sorts of armor, we could be stealthy while walking. It was not a problem. If you notice that we didn't go for stealthy walk with brigandine and breastplate is because already the regular walk didn't produce any sound anyways, so there was no point. For comparison, here is the sound these armors make when you jump. when it comes to moving around your arms, uh, well, if you're fighting and you're wearing armor, it's going to be very difficult to be silent. In fact, when it comes to fighting, it's only the breastplate alone that allows you to basically move and do whatever you want and have no problems because you have no noise. And that's interesting because it matches D&D. The D&D system telling us that when you're wearing a breastplate, you don't have a disadvantage and that is spot on. So we know that with all sorts of armor, you can walk stealthily and reach a target. But the moment you strike, some sets will make a sound others won't. Check this out.
So as you could see, I want to say Breastplate, Brigandine, no problem even if there were other enemies around, while the others do make a noise. So after eliminating the first target, then if there are other targets around, then your presence would be known. See a similar situation here with full plate. I'm just going to try full plate because all the other kinds of armor, I'm not going to have a problem opening a door. With full plate arms, I just need to be extremely careful and again, have my arms bent, possibly before entering the critical zone where people could hear me. In both samurai armor and full plate armor, we have noticed that the shoulders are or pauldrons or sode for the samurai version are where a lot of the noise comes from particularly when you move around your arms so if you really want to be as stealthy as possible while still maintaining a certain level of protection then removing pauldrons and sode could be a good idea Because when we look at it from a video game point of view, usually in games such as, I don't know, The Elder Scrolls, the noise you produce is actually linked to your boots. I don't know if you knew that. Remove the boots and see what you'll sound like. In a way, this is kind of similar with actual armor. It's not the entire set that makes a noise, it's the touching and overlapping of specific parts of the set. So if we can isolate those parts, we can understand what's making a noise, and then we can find a solution in order to reduce that noise. So what we have learned today is that a highly articulated and highly segmented kind of chest protector, such as the Brigandine, but I want to say scale armor probably, do make a little bit of noise in certain extreme movement situations, but otherwise they're okay. And generally speaking, protection of your chest isn't the problem. Full plate breastplate, samurai breastplate, they don't make a noise. Shoulder protectors such as pauldrons and sode and the fold and generally speaking lower part of the armor do make most of the noise as they move around and hit each other. And then limb protection. Now of course we have just tested full plate arms on me but as you can see this full plate leg that unfortunately is too big for me to wear but I can show you the articulation is what makes the sound. Therefore if you can try and walk with the leg kept as straight as possible you will reduce the noise a lot. So, so anything that has to do with limb protection can be controlled by you. So the solution for pauldrons and, and the lower sector, so the fold, would be either to remove them or to cover them in leather or any kind of fabric. That would dramatically reduce the noise and interestingly enough, historically, it was done, probably for fashion and personal preference. Why didn't they do it very often? Because they didn't care. This is battlefield armor. But in a context where we want to know, could you solve this problem if you needed to? Yes, you could. All right, Noble Ones. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember, thumbs up. And if you're not yet members of this community, become a Noble One. Subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. Again, big thanks to Datacamp for sponsoring this video. Remember to check out the link in the description below. And thank you very much for watching this video. And remember, the Metatron has spread its wings. Goodbye.